Welcome, welcome. This is the Elite Review Podcast coming at you here with a Falcon and Winter Soldier episode three review breakdown and future theory segment. Uh, let's go ahead and dive right in. But before we get started, make sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below what you think of Falcon and Winter Soldier so far. Uh, just to let you guys know we're doing our Skywalker Star Wars reviews right now. Yep. Going over the originals, prequels, and we're now on the sequels. We're about to post the Last Jedi review, so make sure you check in on that. Um, and yeah, let's go ahead and get started here. So, did you like this episode? I thought this episode was great. It honestly might be my favorite. Um, yeah. I love Zemo and. Yeah, Zemo. <laughs> Zemo was awesome. <laughs> Zemo was dope. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Yeah, it was a good episode. It was a lot of fun, too. And Zemo dancing was great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. I struggled to know if it's my favorite or not, because I That's really, how I feel. I really love liked episode two a lot. I loved episode two. And I, I'm liking the whole show so far, but episode two for me was just like so much fun to see it when we got it. This one was also really good, too. It's just way different, to be honest. I don't know why it's so different, but it is really different from episode two. It is. Um, um, it's probably just because Zemo comes in, and then also Agent yeah. Carter comes Zemo, in. Zemo, Sharon Carter, Madripoor. Um, what did you think of Madripoor? Um, I'm sorry, wait. Who's, who's that, that was the city like that they went to. Oh, the city? Uh-huh. That place was cool. That place was dope. I liked it, yeah. yeah I, <laughs> it reminded me of the yeah. place that they went in, Black Panther. Yeah, it reminded right? me of that, too. Yeah, Magic Force is cool. Um, you know, in the comics, it's like a huge like X-Men criminal place and stuff like that. So obviously, we're not completely getting that, but it is like a criminal place. I did not know that. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. It's cool. Like, Wolverine goes there a lot, a lot of people. So everyone was Dude, like, these are going to be X-Men references. Ran into huge ja- huge, huge Jack- Jackman. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the <laughs> coolest thing. <laughs> but yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. I, I liked it from start to finish. Um, I, I hear a lot of people talking about this where they're like... They're like, it's kind of dumb how easy Zemo broke out of prison. And like, yeah, it is kind of dumb, but it doesn't bug me or anything. It was it was still fun to watch. But yeah, it's yeah, kind of dumb true. how quickly he just it, gets out of there. It kind of is. Like, he was there that whole time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they all just let him kind of go, but whatever. Uh-huh. Um, um, I do like how he was it's like, hypothetically, and then meanwhile, that all did happen. Um, so that was fun to watch. Yeah. It's cool foreshadowing when Sam's like, you know, Wakanda hasn't forgotten about Zemo. And then, you know, at the very end, we get that Wakandan. Um, what were you yeah. going to say? Um, I was going to say I was a little, a little bit disappointed that Zemo didn't wear his mask for that long because I honestly think he looks dope in that mask. He does look really, really cool in that mask. Like, just that one scene when he blows up, like, everything. Oh, so cool. <laughs> and he, That was, like, his moment to shine. That was his moment. Besides I the dancing. I love that. Yeah. yeah, dancing was definitely his number one moment. But <laughs> yeah, and then... Um, uh, I'm trying to think what else is good. I'm just... Okay, one more thing. It's yeah. just so nice to see D- Zemo done well after Civil War. <laughs> yeah. It was I, very disappointing in that movie. Yeah, I didn't, like, have a huge problem with him or not like him in Civil War, but I, I don't think he was just, needed at all, of course. Like, I think that was kind of a dumb plot there to put him in it. Yeah, like, he wasn't he wasn't bad, but... Yeah, he was you don't need it. And, you don't need this villain to split apart that... Yeah, yeah I don't like how he was used in his plot, but as a character, he's still a cool guy. Yeah. Um, I, I like what they do with his message, too, of just how he hates heroes, and he just thinks they ruin things, which is a cool uh-huh. message for a villain to have. Um, it's a totally practical one, so I like that. Um, uh, but yeah, yeah. I, I, like, I like their tension on the plane and stuff, how he's still kind of got money, and how they have that little discussion about Marvin Gaye and stuff, and... Uh, Oh yeah, <laughs> kind of the book, and you can tell Zemo's still trying to trigger Bucky, and that's uh-huh. why I don't trust him because it's, it's you know it's so cool when Bucky walks in there and he starts saying those words from uh-huh. Civil War again, and uh-huh. then, you know he's like, oh, who's this guy in the book? And Bucky gets pissed. Like you can tell he's still really under Bucky's skin. He knows how oh, to yeah, get under he it. So that's a little oh, yeah. terrifying. I really, I really like that scene when they're acting like he was all hypnotized again in the bar you know oh yeah yeah he's like beating up everyone yeah he was like beat up that person uh huh yeah that was really so, cool yeah I love them going to the bar and their style and everything and how they have to treat it like it's this criminal underworld really cool stuff to watch mm-hmm. and I love how they're meeting with that person as so, soon as that person got shot I was like that's just that's Carter <laughs> <laughs> me too yeah and um, I liked how it turned kind of John Wick there where it's like oh now there's bounties on these guys because they just uh-huh. killed that person um and then, yeah, uh, one complaint of the show, well, not a complaint, but I'm not a huge fan of Sharon too too far yet. No, I she's, don't know, she was okay. She was okay, but she kind of annoyed me sometimes, just because, like, I do get why she's bitter and stuff, but she's, like, just, every line, it's like she's just trying to be so passive-aggressive. I agree. That I'm like, calm down. <laughs> like, she's just like, <laughs> she's like, I've been here, you guys don't know what it's like. 
you guys don't know what it's like to be on the run. You know, yeah, true. Like, and I'm like, well, they kind of do. I mean, Sam was on the run. I'm like, yeah, sure, he was with Captain America and stuff, but it's not like but he could still. just be around doing things. And it seems like she's made herself pretty good in the world. Like, she has a rich house and everything, and mm-hmm. I just, I mean, I get why she'd be a little annoyed, but it's not too much their fault. I don't know. I didn't like all the passive aggressiveness from her. I, I would have preferred if she had just wanted to team up with them a little more. Yeah, she's a little bitter. Show that for a sec, and then show her just teaming up with them, you know? So I don't trust her either. Like, this is an sh- episode where I didn't know who to trust. Like, I don't trust Zemo 100%. I don't either. I don't trust Sharon Carter either 100%. Uh, um, Captain America dude wasn't really in this episode very much. No, but I also not trust him Walker. anymore. Yeah, John, John Walker. Walker. Yeah. Yeah, you can tell they're showing him to be the U.S. agent guy. Like, the, you know, uh-huh. opposite of Captain America. Like, he's getting pissed. I honestly want to see Zemo turn evil. <laughs> <laughs> I think he will, honestly, by the end of the show. I think he's going to backstab. Uh, something to with you. He's gonna escape, and he's he's not going back to jail. Um, something that I kind of missed about this episode was the bickering between Sam and Bucky. Oh yeah, because that's not very present in this. But yeah, I, I agree that's what that. I loved about episode two. Agreed, one hundred percent. I was I was waiting for that too. Like, the did. Marvin Gaye was like the most we got of that. Uh-huh. that or when he's like, "You're not gonna move your seat up, are you?" He's, he's like, like, "No." Nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was good. That was good. Um, I did like when they went to that guy's place and, you know, he's talking about the super soldier serum and how he's made vials of it. And you just see Zemo pissed off the whole time. Like, he's like, this guy can't live. He's like, he's making more super soldiers. He's so pissed and then he just shoots him straight up. Um, So I thought that was interesting to watch. Um, What else was cool? I mean, Sharon Carter got some cool action, that's for sure. She had a choreography. I was like, like, holy crap. (laughs) I love that whole part. I don't know what you would call it. Just that whole place that she was fighting and stuff and yeah. where Zemo blows up everything. Yeah, no, me too. And um, it's crazy to see her like in Civil War and not really do much action. You know, Bucky just kind of uh-huh. rocks her really quick. And then in this one, she's doing a lot of cool action. She's, so. she's kind of lame in that movie. Oh, she's way lame in yeah. Civil War. I, I don't like her character. <laughs> Isn't like, she in The Winter Soldier? Yeah, but she just like works for the place and she's just next door to Steve. Yeah. That's about it. Um, and then, yeah, I thought it was cool... Um, Let's see what else happens. I mean, when the guy gets killed, that was cool. Just to see, like, how things are going to change now with the Super Soldier Serum. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we also get the Flag Smashers doing some crazy things. Like, she literally blows up a whole place of, like, pe- kind of innocent people and stuff. So, like, you can tell these aren't really good guys. Yeah, yeah. She's not a very good person either. And I don't know how things are going to converge where... I don't know if they're going to be stopped or what's going to happen there. But it's going to be pretty crazy. I don't know. That was pretty crazy. <laughs> yeah. Um, that guy was even unsure of her. Yeah, he was kind of like, what's going so, on? There are a lot of people in there. <laughs> Definitely. Um, well, what do you want to see in the future episodes? Or what do you want to see in the yeah. next one? In the next one, where we got to figure out who this Wakandan girl is. Oh, yeah. I don't know what's going to happen. I can't tell if she's going to fight Buggy and be like, give me Zemo. Or if she's just gonna, if he's going to be like, chill out. We're gonna, just going to bring him back to you, I promise. Yeah. I don't know what's going to happen. Do you think they'll make a T'Challa reference at all? Uh, I, I'm pretty sure that they will, yeah. I hope so, man. It'd be cool uh, if they give so. a little reference to him. Mm-hmm. Um, to say, because I heard, like, yeah, he's still, like, they're still going to say he's alive in the MCU right now, because it's only a few months after Endgame. I think they're pretty going to kill off his character by Black Panther 2, of course. Oh, yeah. All these things, like WandaVision and stuff, they say he's still alive for, so he's still around, but, you know, I'll have to figure out how they wrap that up in Black Panther 2. Apparently, this is going to be a spinoff for those Wakandan shows, too, that the director's going to make. If you remember when they announced that, like, the Wakanda show that'll be coming out sometime. I completely forgot about that, and I was yeah. about to say, you know, it'd be cool if they made a Wakanda show. <laughs> yeah, no, they are making one. <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah, this will are. probably totally <laughs> spin off into that. I think they're using these Disney Plus shows a lot to spin off into other Disney Plus shows. Yeah, uh, they are. <laughs> very evidently so. Uh, but I hope it gives a Black Panther 2 update, too. I hope she mentions Shuri or mentions T'Challa and wants him back. I'm sure like she'll that. mention at least T'Challa. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool way, like a cool way to reference him to give him, like, not like a tribute really, but just like show that he's still around or just mm-hmm. pay off a little thing to him. Um, but I like, I didn't expect that either. Like, I was like, oh, we're bringing Wakanda in here. Like, I did was, not think that was gonna happen. That was very unexpected. Yeah, so I hope that she's pretty pissed off, wants Zemo back. Don't know how that's gonna go down. Um, I hope to see John Walker c- cross paths with them eventually and maybe Falcon and Bucky fight him uh-huh. or something that would be really cool to see. I don't know how they're gonna get the shield back. Still waiting to see how that's gonna happen, but I don't know. I don't know if, if John Walker's we'll yeah. gonna get killed or if they're just gonna take it back. I don't know. But I don't know. You have any other theories? Not 
really. Mostly just the Wakanda stuff. <laughs> yeah. We didn't get too much. We didn't get too much too to look much. forward to now. Um, we're still staying pretty grounded, so I hope by the next episode we get some cool things to look forward to in the last two episodes. Well, we're already halfway through the show. I know. That's insane. <laughs> yep. And then, um, I guess on some other news, did you like that Loki trailer that just came out? Oh yeah, that was really cool. That show looks great, that show honestly. Looks amazing. I'm very excited for that. Um, That's just in a few weeks. Yep. Yeah. I still wish Black Widow was coming out in May, because then we'd finally get something before another Disney Plus show. like, July or yeah, June? it's July now. So, I was really Correct. looking forward to getting, like, an actual MC Honestly, movie. Yeah. I was really looking forward to getting that last May. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> yep, I was, I was like, yes, I was like, an MCU movie, Dude, here the, we go. The first trailer came out over a year ago. Yep. It's crazy. Absolute crazy, so... Anyway, that's all we got on this episode here. There's a theory. There's not too much to talk about yet on this show, but we'll definitely have to stay tuned. Um, Anyway, make sure you like and subscribe. Let us know what you think about the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And check out our Marvel rankings. We have a playlist on there of a bunch of different things. We've ranked like Iron Man movies and Captain America movies. We've done a lot. So make sure you check those out. Check us out on Instagram at the Elite Review Podcast. DM us if you ever want to talk about this stuff. And you guys have a great week. See you guys.